Detroit's world brings you a Rafi's place. We're here in Glendale, California, home of Armenia. Can't wait to try this. It's been open for 25 years. Heard so much about this place. Got the place shut down VIP style. First up, we have the ikra. This is a grilled eggplant and just look at this dish. Look at the textures on that. Oh man. I just love the red consistency and it has a gelatin effect to it. This is a barbecue eggplant. They put tomatoes and peppers in here. Put it on a stove with some sauteed onion. Peel like the grilled eggplant with some tomatoes and peppers and then they puree it in a pan. So you let all the flavors combine and really unify as one. They put like a ending touch with some paprika, turmeric, and they have some salt and pepper just to elevate to the next status. Oh my goodness, I can't even wait for this and just look at this. Show you this effect, guys. Wow, just having a lot of fun with food. I feel like a little kid, you know, playing at the restaurant. Just look at that. We're gonna use lavash bread. This is the lavash bread. Very thin. Look how thin that is. Wow. It's like Aladdin's carpet, y'all. We're using Aladdin's carpet to bring up the ikra. It's gonna be super fun. Just look at this. Very, very malleable. Super easy to bend. Very nice texture. It has that crunchy texture as well as it's super soft at the same time. So it's able to be bendable. Take a little piece, y'all. Do half of this. There we go. Put some ikra right here. Oh man, y'all. I'm excited. I've never had ikra before. The first time having ikra. We're gonna fold it up like a little majestic egg roll. And now we're gonna eat it, y'all. Wow. Whoa. That's amazing. The barbecue aroma really pops out. It literally just rolls right off the lavish bread. Temperature is kind of cold on the ikra, and it creates a really nice balance with the warm room temperature of the actual lavish bread. So look how much there is. So the fun never stops, y'all. You have enough fun to go around. Yeah, it's really good. Oh my god. All right, the next dish we have, very, very big dish in terms of the Iranian culture, the tadik, and what tadik is, is hardened rice. It's basmati rice, the bottom layer, it becomes really hardened and crispy, and they call it tadik. With each batch of rice you cook, you only get a limited quantity of tadik. Households would fight for the tadik and the last pieces because it's so delicious. They'll put the stew over the tadik. The stew is called gourmet zabzi, and the stew is a herb dish. A lot of Iranians would say it's the Iranian national dish. They would parsley and variation of different greens. They slice and dice it in a pan and they saute it. They cook it with some kidney beans and also a bunch of different spices and some lemon. So the gourmet zabzi is the stew. Put it over the heart and rice, which is a tadik. Crazy combination of flavor that really you can't describe and you get a really nice delicate layer of rice in the center. All right, let's check this out and let's see how it tastes everyone. Whoa. That's very, very unique. Herbs are really, really fresh and they really pack a really clean punch. It literally tastes, I don't know how to describe the taste. It's like parsley with a variation of different vegetables and the greenness that comes out. But what really stands out is the tadic factor. That tadic is super, super crunchy. Very nice consistency. Your mouth penetrates on it. You get that crunch factor against the really soft gourmet zabzi. Oh man, this dish, y'all gotta try it out. Healthy to its core. It looks a little frightening, but don't be scared. This is pretty legit, y'all. We have the main course. The main course. It's called the Sultani for the Sultans, high class royal emperors of Iran and the entire Mediterranean community. Look at this giant dish. Look at that. Got plenty of protein on top. You got flan mignon on the bottom. You have beef mula kebab. You have basmati rice. This is the flan mignon, y'all, along with the beef kebab on top. This is a thinly sliced charbroil flan mignon cut, and it's skewered on a fire. And on top, you get a little of kebab that kind of looks more like a rope, and it's more circular, much more of a thickness, made of ground beef. Iranians love, they absolutely love rice, y'all. So you got basmati rice with some hints of saffron as well. When I turn it around, you have the barbecue pepper and the barbecue tomato, which is a must. Absolute must in both Armenian and Iranian cultures, y'all. You can't have a barbecue dish without these two stunning, gorgeous additions. So you gotta make sure you have your tomatoes and your peppers. And look the sear on that. Look at this. It's been grilled to perfection, super soft and moist, and just oozing. The sultani is pretty much represented by the lula kebab and the flaming yon. That combination is called the sultani. Sultans require the best of the best. 
and this dish, everyone, is the best of the best. So today, we feast like a king. I can't wait. I've been waiting for years, like a little over four years to try this. I'm really excited that my buddy was able to show me this and educate me on just the whole cultural significance of this dish and all the preparation that goes into this. So we're gonna give it a shot and let's see how it tastes. Let's do this. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, so I got some of the basmati rice on top, the lula on the bottom. Let's give it a shot. Oh man. Wow, that lula is pretty light. Very juicy, really easy to chew. And when you get to the inside layer, you get some of the juices flowing. That was fun. But now let's try the flan mignon slice. Oh wow, I didn't have to cut it. It just came like that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whoa! Y'all, look at that. Look at those juices flowing, y'all. You see that? See all the juices on the surface? Oh my goodness. And look how delicate this is. I love the cuts because it's really easy, very bite-sized. I don't even have to make any manual adjustments to this. I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and see how it tastes. Alright, to the sultans of this world. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Yeah, I, I need a moment. This lost lost for words. That was epic. Tender, juicy, very easy to chew on. As you chew on it, the flavors extract more and more, expands across your mouth, combines entire surface areas of your mouth. Like the flavors just explode. Oh my goodness, I'm lost for words. That was delicious. So much juice, so much flavor, so much of the spices coming out. And that flin mignon, so delicate, but still a very nice char on the outside to give it some crunch factor. I realized why they call it the sultani dish, because I feel like a sultan eating this. I'm gonna try the basmati rice. Really nice kind of like orange textures of the basmati rice, so let's give it a shot. The orange texture kind of has this buttery taste to it. Can't wait to finish the rest of the dish. When I say the rest of the dish, y'all, literally, it's the rest of the dish. It's all right, everyone. Hope you enjoy. If you try out this place, Rafi's place in Glendale, California, it's north of Los Angeles. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments below, or what your favorite Mediterranean, Armenian, or Iranian restaurant is. All right, everyone. Peace out. We just finished eating. It's extremely packed here. There's lines out here. There's about 40 people waiting in line, and it was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend trying it. It was a joy. Look, there's people on people. It's like extremely crowded. Amazing. I am so happy. Finally had. The pleasure and chance to try Rob's place, what a great experience, y'all.